it is Wendell again, and this time we're, we're looking at solving logarithmic equations. If you look over here, I put two rules over there. There are a few rules, but in this problem, we will be using only two to solve what we have. And as soon as we're going to use them, I will point to it. Now, what we have here is log in base 5 of x plus 4, which is equal to log in base 5 of x, and there's a plus 1. Whenever we're solving logarithmic problems, most times like this, in situations like these, we try to gather the logs on one side. So, let, I'm going to rewrite this. So, we have log in base 5 of x plus 4. I'll subtract this from both sides, which is log in base 5 of x. So, I'll have log in base 5 of x. which is equal to 1. All right? So that's my first move. The moment I do this, I'm seeing where there's a log in base 5 of this, a log in base 5 of that, we're subtracting, then I'm going to employ this rule. Because since the base is the same, so log in base 5 of x minus log, no, log in base a of x minus log in base a of y is the same thing as saying log in base a of x over y, I think I wrote this wrong, yeah, this is okay, x over y, all right, very good, it's okay. All right, so in this case, what we're doing now is going to do a similar thing. So this is going to be log in base 5, we'll have x plus 4 all over x, so writing it as one log, because we have two logs there, and this is equal to 1. Now, at this stage, we can now employ this because this is log in base 2 of x is equal to y. Log in base b of x is equal to y. This means that b to the y is equal to x, which means that 5 raised to the 1 is going to equal to x plus 4 over x. And what we're going to do now is just to do normal solving. I might need a little bit of space. All right, depending, I might just do it right here. All right, so as you could see, what we could do now is to multiply x, multiply x rough. So we would have five x, which is now equal to x plus four over x times x, but this would cancel. Then, so, if I, so I'm going to gather the things on the other side. So we have 5x, gathering the x's on the other side. It's going to be a minus x. Let me write this clearer. So we have 5x minus x, and that is equal to 4. So as you can see, we have 4x, which is equal to 4, dividing both sides by 4. We could see now that x is equal to 1. All right? Dividing both sides by 4, I think this part was cut off. Let me rewrite it here. So we have 4x equal to 4, divide by 4, divide by 4. There it is a little bit clearer. x is equal to 1. So that is just um, using two of those little rules in order to solve logarithmic equations.